recipients of scholarships to the Republic of China are waiting word on when they will travel to begin their studies, which have been hampered by the COVID-19 pandemic. We have more in this report from Sorana Mitchell. Permanent Secretary with Responsibility for Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information, Norman Gilbert, met with students selected to study in China last Friday. The meeting comes as the Ministry of Education and students await final information about travel. There are two cohorts waiting to leave for China that include recipients from 2020 and 2021. The wait is due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The awardees had a chance to share their concerns and be encouraged by Gilbert as they wait. Peaches Buckmeyer, whose sister is already a student in China, will be joining her there. I decided to pursue a career uh, in energy and power engineering because uh, I would like to be a part of the, the advancement to clean energy that the world is focusing on. The awardees were all grateful for the opportunity and hoped to use the experience to advance the educational and career goals. Sabrina Dumont will be pursuing a master's degree in international relations. I must say that I'm very grateful for having received a scholarship. It is a wonderful opportunity to, of course, pursue my, my goal and dreams on understanding, as I mentioned before, understanding how the world works, um, representing my country in the best way um, forward. The idea of learning new materials on a day-to-day -day basis, meeting new people, um, getting to pick their brain on how it works and different perspective will give me a holistic approach in how I go about, you know, um, dealing with life challenges and I think being granted this opportunity will definitely give me the skill sets that I need to pursue my dreams in traveling, maybe let's say working with the UN or something of, along that line, just uh, being an, an ambassador just for my country in whatever capacity that I can, it will definitely give me the skill set required to do such. So I'm very much grateful. The recipients are being encouraged to start learning the Chinese language by taking classes at the T.A. Marisha Community College in preparation for the trip. I am Sarana Mitchell for the National Report.